Imagine the vastness of the cosmos revealed in the 1970s, showing us that our galaxy is not just a stationary mass but is moving at an incredible speed of 390 miles per second. This discovery catapulted us into a new understanding of our place in the universe, challenging our perception of stillness and igniting curiosity about the forces at play. As you absorb this information, consider the journey we're all on. A journey that, since the beginning of this information, has seen us traverse over 11,000 miles through space, and you thought you were merely sitting still. The moment scientists pinpointed our galaxy's speed, it was a groundbreaking revelation, yet it left us with more questions. The Hubble flow captured the idea that the universe is expanding, but this only partially explained the velocity of the Milky Way. The gravitational pull from neighboring galaxies like Andromeda adds another layer to this puzzle, but a crucial piece remains missing. This enigma deepened as it became apparent that it wasn't just our galaxy being mysteriously tugged at a bewildering speed and direction. An entire cluster of galaxies, our cosmic neighborhood, seemed to be drawn towards an unseen and unknown force. The term Great Attractor was coined to describe this mysterious entity pulling us along with thousands of other galaxies across a region spanning 500 million light years. This revelation, shifting from curious to chilling, hinted at a universe far more complex and interconnected than we ever imagined. In this video, the work of Dolores Cannon, a pioneering figure in the fields of regression hypnosis and past life therapy, becomes particularly relevant. Her book, The Convoluted Universe, explores ideas that resonate with these astronomical phenomena. Cannon shows us the mysteries of life, time, and space providing insights that might explain what is going on. Her research and writings suggest that there may be more to our universe than the physical dimensions we perceive. She explores the possibility of parallel universes, other dimensions, and the interstellar organs of humanity, offering a broader perspective on the challenges we're facing. Her work encourages us to consider the role of consciousness in shaping our reality and the universe's structure, invites us to open our minds to the unfathomable, suggesting that the key to understanding our cosmic trajectory might lie in the very nature of existence itself. The enigma of the Great Attractor was only the beginning. The real challenge lay in understanding its true nature. The universe operates under the dominion of gravity, a force directly proportional to mass. This raises an immense question. What could possibly constitute the Great Attractor? And what are the implications for us as it draws our galaxy closer? Ordinarily, telescopes are our windows to the cosmos, but in the case of the Great Attractor, our galaxy's own structure hinders us. The Milky Way, with its sprawling expanse and densely packed stars, dust, and gas, especially along its plane, acts more like a curtain than a backdrop, obscuring a significant portion of the universe from our view. The Zone of Avoidance which the galaxy's disk obscures and blocks out about 10% of the cosmos from our direct view, is an apt name for this region. Ironically, the Great Attractor lies hidden within this very zone, shrouded in mystery and unobservable directly through our telescopes due to the Milky Way's clutter. For years, this enigmatic force could only be studied through the gravitational ripples it sent through our cosmic neighborhood, allowing scientists to pinpoint its location within the vast distances of space, nestled somewhere between 150 and 250 million light-years away in the direction of the Norma constellation. The preliminary findings were staggering. The Great Attractor was theorized to possess a mass equivalent to 10 quadrillion suns, a scale unfathomable and unprecedented in our understanding. Such a colossal mass defied comprehension and existing astronomical models leaving more questions than answers about what lies hidden in the unseen stretches of our universe. Following this revelation and our galaxy's astonishing journey through the cosmos, Dolores Cannon's work on past life regression and quantum healing takes on new significance. Her research suggests that events have a profound impact on human consciousness and the collective subconscious. The realization that we are part of a vast, moving universe can trigger awakenings, urging individuals to explore beyond conventional understanding and embrace a more interconnected view. Cannon's theories align with the concept of the Great Attractor, 
proposing that such colossal cosmic movements influence energy fields on Earth, altering human behavior, sociability, and even geopolitical dynamics. The notion of an expanding universe mirrors our expanding consciousness, leading to what Canon describes as the birth of a new Earth, a shift in global awareness and a transition to higher dimensional living. The discovery of Ton 618, an ultra-massive black hole, has stretched our imaginations to their limits. This colossal entity, sprawling nearly 250 billion miles across and illuminating a quasar with the light of 140 trillion suns, stands as a testament to the universe's unfathomable scale and mysteries. Yet, even this astronomical giant, with its staggering mass of 66 billion suns, pales in comparison to the gravitational titan known as the Great Attractor. The enigma deepens with the potential discovery of Phoenix A, another ultra-massive black hole that might tip the scales at around 100 billion solar masses, though its exact dimensions are still under scrutiny. These cosmic behemoths challenge our understanding and provoke the question, if the largest known objects in our universe can't account for the gravitational pull of the Great Attractor, then what can? Typically, this is where I'd admit we're stumped, but not this time. The Great Attractor, hidden from our view by the Milky Way's zone of avoidance, has evaded traditional astronomical methods due to the dust and gas shrouding our galactic plane. However, the advent of advanced radio and infrared telescopes has revolutionized our cosmic detection capabilities. With the Great Attractor in the background, Cannon's ideas about the energy all around us become really interesting. She claimed that things like this discovery can strengthen space energy and change how we feel and interact with others. This pull from space, even though it's far away, might be making people feel closer to each other and pushing us to live more peacefully and care more about each other, moving away from old fights. Her predictions of geopolitical shifts, as seen through astronomical observation, spoke of an era where traditional power structures dissolve, giving way to more unified, collective governance a reflection of cosmic alignment and balance. This aligns with the cosmic influence that prompts a reassessment of priorities on a global scale, pushing humanity towards cooperation rather than division, influenced by the universal energies that govern us. This big network of everything shows we're all connected, from tiny bits to huge space groups. Seeing where we fit in this big picture can help people grow and heal, like Canon's healing methods suggest. People waking up to these truths may start living in ways that fit better with their true goals, helping everyone move towards a kinder, more united Earth. These technological marvels have pierced through the veil, allowing us a glimpse into the heart of this for the first time in four decades. So, what did we uncover in this hidden sector of the universe? Were we greeted by a black hole, or perhaps an alien megastructure? As it turns out, the reality, while less fanciful, is no less profound. A colossal congregation of galaxies, each contributing to the gravitational chorus. Upon gazing beyond the zone of avoidance, astronomers found not the feared cosmic behemoth, but a vast assembly of galaxies. While initially seeming anticlimactic, this discovery significantly clarified this perspective. The prevailing theory suggests that minute variations in the early universe's matter led to regions with slightly more mass. These areas, with their stronger gravitational pull, started attracting additional matter over time. This cosmic process of accumulation and depletion sculpted the universe's current framework, creating dense clusters and vast voids through what could be likened to an astronomical form of capitalism. This structure follows a hierarchical pattern. Stars gather into galaxies, galaxies into groups and clusters, and these in turn form immense superclusters. Within this cosmic order, our solar system resides in the Milky Way, part of the local group, which itself is a component of the sprawling Virgo supercluster. This structure, once thought to encompass our entire cosmic vicinity, was just the beginning. Our understanding was revolutionized when we penetrated the veil of the zone of avoidance. We anticipated the Virgo supercluster, with its 45,000 galaxies, to be a vast entity, yet it was merely a segment of something much grander, the Laniakea supercluster. The scale of Laniakea defies human comprehension, 
spanning 520 million light years and hosting around 100,000 galaxies, its vastness is staggering. At the heart of this colossal structure lies the enigma we've dubbed the Great Attractor, and he is not a distinct celestial body, but rather the center of Lania Kia itself. This revelation shifts our perspective. The Great Attractor is less an object and more a region, the gravitational well of the supercluster. Imagine space-time as a trampoline, a common analogy despite its flaws. Placing a heavy object on it creates a dip, mirroring the curvature of space-time around massive objects. The Great Attractor represents this dip's deepest point in our universe's segment, drawing in galaxies towards this central gravitational point. Now, as to the looming question, what fate awaits us as we drift closer to the Great Attractor? The journey towards this gravitational epicenter, estimated between 150 and 250 million light-years away, let's approximate it at 200 million for simplicity, poses a bewildering prospect. Yet, despite this staggering speed, a twist in the tale of our universe ensures we will never reach the Great Attractor. Paradoxically, as we move closer, the Great Attractor recedes further away. To understand this, consider two ants on a balloon, inching closer. If the balloon remains static, they will meet. However, if the balloon expands, they drift apart, despite their efforts. This analogy mirrors our situation with the Laniakea supercluster. Our galaxy, and indeed our local group, is caught in a cosmic race we cannot win due to the accelerating expansion of the universe. This revelation might fuel existential reflections. The universe's expansion isolates us further, making distant galaxies unreachable and leaving only our local group within our cosmic neighborhood. Out of the universe's vast expanse, with its 200 trillion galaxies, merely about 40 remain within our gravitational reach, a sobering reminder of our place in the cosmos. The chaos and conflicts could be the old ways of resisting the new higher vibrations sent from cosmic events like the Great Attractor. Right now, the world seems more divided than ever, with conflicts and wars making headlines every day. It's easy to get lost in despair and think we're moving away from peace and harmony. However, Dolores Cannon's insights suggest these tumultuous times could actually be signs of us moving towards a higher collective consciousness. This isn't just about individual awakening, it's about all of us, together, creating a world that reflects our newfound unity and understanding. Imagine a world where peace, love, and empathy aren't just ideals, but the foundation of society. Sounds dreamy, right? But as we continue to be influenced by cosmic facts, this dream could become our reality. Each of us plays a part in this. Every kind act, every moment of understanding, contributes to this new world we're building. So keep pushing forward, keep growing, and remember, we're all in this together. Nostradamus, the famed 16th century seer, made predictions that many interpret as foretelling these exact kinds of upheavals. He spoke of wars and conflicts leading to massive changes in human society. If we look at his prophecies through the lens of Dolores Cannon's work, we might understand them not just as doom and gloom, but as part of the painful birthing process of a new earth. These conflicts and wars, while devastating, might be triggering a global awakening. As we're exposed to the harsh realities of our current ways of living and governing, more and more people are yearning for change, for a world that aligns more closely with the universal energies of love, peace, and unity. This is the quantum field in action, the collective desire for a better world influencing the fabric of reality itself. But how do we navigate this? First, by understanding that each of us holds power in our thoughts, emotions, and actions. By choosing empathy over apathy, unity over division, and love over fear, we contribute to the global shift towards a new earth. This doesn't mean ignoring the pain and suffering in the world, but rather responding to it with compassion and a desire for healing. Moreover, as we align more with the cosmic energies pulling us towards growth and enlightenment, we find ways to resolve conflicts not with more violence, but with dialogue, understanding, and mutual respect. The Great Attractor's influence in this sense can be seen as guiding us to find balance and harmony, not just within ourselves, but in our external world. While the road ahead may be fraught with challenges, 
The cosmic signs and Dolores Cannon's teachings suggest we're on the brink of a major shift. The current conflicts and wars, viewed through this lens, are not the end but rather a crucial part of our evolution. By staying grounded in our personal growth and contributing positively to our collective consciousness, we can help bring about the peaceful, united new Earth that awaits us. Remember, every small step towards love and understanding is a leap towards the new world we all dream of. So let's keep moving forward together.